We started last week with a fairly even uh, split in terms of expect market pricing for a hike. Over the week, that pushed up, as you said, to 90% with various speakers. Uh, you know, we had Brainard, for instance, last week, and Yellen, and various other speakers. It looks so likely now that they're going to hike. We've actually just changed our forecast now, looking for a March hike as well, okay. as September and December. So we now look for free Fed hikes. But March, unless you see something disastrous in the 10 days up to the next move, it seems very unlikely. Now, the big data point is the payrolls at the end of this week. Uh, that should be pretty solid in our view. We're looking okay, for... What are you looking for? Because 200 the forecast K. is, what is it, 186 or so? That's so right. You're way above We're forecast. above that. We're at 200 K, driven principally by private uh, hiring because there's been a federal strike. So private hiring should be the, the sole component of that. And the unemployment rate should slightly drop to about 4.7%. Wow. Again, uh, very at or near full employment and enough for the Fed certainly to hike this month. Okay. So, and you'd hope that that would continue, but we're yet to find out more about Donald Trump's policies. So, I mean, you know, that throws a whole lot of uncertainty in the mix, doesn't it? It does, and that's one reason why we've uh, left our next hike till September, because the reality is we still don't know what's going to happen in regard to trade, tariffs, border adjustment yes. tax, uh, fiscal stimulus or tax reform. And I think these are going to be very, very key to the timing of the next Fed rate tax. We'd initially assumed that we would see tariffs or even a border, a border adjustment tax being implemented in the first half, which would dent the U.S. growth cycle in the first half of the year, and then stimulus start to kick in later. But now the timing of all this seems to be pushed back.